In my recent community post on YouTube, I've been talking so much about different zoom lenses. Like we have the modern ones, the GM 24 to 70. There's the Tamron 35 to 150. I just wish that was a little wider. There's older vintage zooms and I just couldn't figure out how to get the right scan coverage. Would those older zooms even work? And I have such a huge surprise. In the next vlog, I'm gonna go into this beast of a lens how it works in conjunction with the fx6 because there's so many contingencies and like issues that you have to pro and con with whatever you use hold on i need to just show you this i posted this on my story this is the ridiculous amount of reach the variety of focal length in one lens this is what i've been searching for i just had to show that um, this is going to be a super cool experiment. I'm glad I got my hands on it because normally I can't get anywhere near this type of gear. But for uh, tomorrow, I'm going to um, New Jersey and I need some lens support. Definitely need lens support for that lens. But I really need lens support because we're going to be shooting telephoto on my long lens, the 150 to 600, which is full frame coverage. And uh, it's a lot of weight to put on my plastic um, mount. So we're going to be using the VCT with dual rails and then the Y bracket for support and mixing between gameplay and then using the 24 to 70 for interviews just realized i'm not getting aperture control on this tamron 150 to 600 so i mean i, I rarely use this ef to e adapter the only other ef lens i have is a rokinon fisheye so i found the uh i don't even know what that is micro micro usb uh into usb and i'm gonna upgrade update the firmware and hopefully from the point where i bought this uh, I don't know, a year and a half ago, they've added support for aperture control for Tamron, which is, I don't know if that's going to be true, because if anything, it's going to be Sigma lenses. But we're going to try, because otherwise, this stay, the aperture stays open at like 5.6, which is better than staying closed at f22. But I would like to have aperture control. And right now on the camera, it gives me nothing. There isn't even an aperture readout. By the way, this is the vlog or a podcast that I mentioned in the last vlog. My buddy Dalton it just started. This is his pilot episode. It's really good. And during it, he's getting a tattoo. Actually, this might have messed something up because for some reason, my white balance presets are not what they were before. So that says 56. If I switch it to the other one, it says 56, which those were different. And then that says also 56. So. These switch presets were changed when I adapted or connected this after the firmware update, not before, before they were fine. And then now my, I have one card in my B slot. Let's see if it's blinking. Let's see if I can even record. I cannot record. Okay, now that is a problem. Um, I'm not sh sure what is happening. Maybe there's something internal I have to do here. Um, but actually that's a, that's a big issue the night before the shoot. I gotta figure this out. Good news, bad news. I turned the camera off and the camera stayed on. Uh, I turned off the monitor. They're both being powered by the V-mount. And then I just waited a while. Eventually it turned off. I undid the mount. I undid the lens, put it back on, power cycled a few times. Now I have aperture control. My white balance presets are back and I didn't test this yet. Make sure there's a card in here. Yep, let's see if it rolls and it rolls. Okay, so that is uh, not ideal um, because I've played with these type of adapter issues before when I had a GH5S and I would go from micro four thirds to my EF lenses back when I had EF lenses. This was one of the only lenses that stayed from that quiver. So I never use this setup, obviously. And this is kind of the risk when you're, when you're using a smart adapter, you're risking all of the electronic control to be handled from here through here to here. Whereas if you have just manual lenses after this point with a dumb adapter, um, 
of course the lens is going to work fine so it's just going to be a live risk throughout this whole weekend and uh well i mean i'll let you know how it goes I haven't seen this yet. Spirit is automating everything. There isn't any gate agents or uh, check-in agents here. This is interesting. Unfortunately, Orlando doesn't have a Centurion Lounge, but they do have something called the Club MCL. I have five minutes to see if I have time. Not super bougie, but just nice to be able to grab some food, grab some drinks, and just relax for a second and not have to pay so much money for crappy food. I can eat crappy food for free, which is a big difference. Got my espresso, cappuccino, and literally had just a couple seconds here. From the lounge One, two, onto a six, spirit six. flight. This is my first time in New Jersey. I always like going to new places, but I'm pretty much going to be inside this ballroom most of the time filming ADCC Jiu-Jitsu. It's a tournament. There's 1,300 people here, and I'm going to be working with Sam on the right. I met him through that Combat Night promotion. And then also Dave, who is camera operating. So funny enough, that lens that I showed you in the beginning, that's his me and him have been going back and forth talk, talking about like these B4 lenses and he ended up picking one up and while he's going out of the country, he straight up just let me borrow it. So super stoked to get some experiments in with that because I just am not able to use these lenses. So that is going to be extremely fun, but it's not with me this time. I wanted to use it for this event. I couldn't because it had to be 4K. I'm just getting my gear prepped. Uh, glad I went through all that headache yesterday. Details for filming assignments is starting to roll in. So I'm going to be on the, the big zoomy for a lot of the jujitsu gameplay, like the action on the mats. And they wanted a telephoto to have some really close action. There might be a chance that I use the 24 to 70, but still I have the lens support here. And then I am just doing all the prep work. So all the cards are formatted and I just finished doing the clip naming, which uh, I think I'm going to change this because there's only one day. So it's redundant. I might just put the name of the organization and then the date. Uh, that's what I would go with. Um, but actually I will ask the guy in charge. That makes way more sense. And then we're going to have a Sony UWP up here. I believe it's the hot shoe mount. Uh, and then my shotgun will be catching um, ambient sound of whatever's happening. Uh, I don't need this shoulder pad most likely, but I needed it for the dual rail setup for the lens support. And then still doing my thing where I attach this to that one so that um, if it's attached to here like normal, the load bearing point is like way out here which is like kind of like a rotator cuff uh part where the, the weight goes onto so just bringing it over here makes the weight go under the camera which is just a lot easier on your arm rather than that to go to like that small change but it does make a big difference and i lost my headphones um on a previous job so i have my over-the-ear Bose headphones. I just don't like using that style because they're big and bulky. And when I have to pull them off my hair, it messes everything up. The wires get messed up. So uh, at some point, I'm going to grab some new earbuds so I can leave them on here. Much, much easier. And second tripod. Um, I was requested to bring it if it could fit. The legs are in here. And then I scared myself because when I got here, I didn't think I had the base plate, but I had put it in here or else this would have been useless. 
I got this from the homie Brandon when I did my Atlanta filmmaker meetup. He gave this to me and I've used it a bunch. So thank you. This is going to have a V mount, the 24 to 70 cards, and any other random things. And it's got these nice cushions. Oh, and this is so nice water bottle holders on each side or just quick access pockets. Um, so I use that a lot. Thank you, Brandon. And then, uh, I'm done, so it's not even 10 p.m. The rest of the night is going to be sleeping there. And uh, tomorrow I've got a full day.